the transfer portal has schools playing quarterback musical chairs, but will Ohio State be left without a seat? Let's talk about it after the stinger. It's Felix Sharp at Sharp Review on Twitter for CampusToCamp.com. I hope you like the content that we're putting out as we try to push the Campus to Canton fantasy football format that incorporates college and NFL players. If you need more information about what that is and how you can play with your favorite college players and through the end of their NFL careers, then click the link in the description box. That will give you all the information that you need to know. For right now, we're trying to grow this thing. I have this stupid uh, you know, ambitious goal of getting to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I'm going to put out the content. If you can help me like this video and hit that subscribe button so we can see if we can get there. We got 21 more days left. We've had some good momentum. I want to keep it going. I'm going to keep putting out the content. So do it right now. Do it right now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Ohio State's quarterback room has always mattered for us. I mean, there's a long track record there, especially under Ryan Day with Dwayne Haskins, Justin Fields, and most recently C.J. Stroud. So it's a room in our format that we need to pay attention to. Now, the rumors have been here recently in the last couple of days that Riley Leonard, the former Duke quarterback, is planning to visit both Ohio State and Auburn, even though he's 100% crystal balled to Notre Dame. And that had seemed to be been the uh, connection slash association this entire time since he's entered the transfer portal. Nonetheless, he's vis- visiting Ohio State, which they're in li- I, I, what I'm, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, It's interesting to me that Ryan Day is taking on these types of quarterbacks because he has tended, Ryan Day has tended to like quarterbacks that play within structure. Dwayne Haskins, pocket passer. C.J. Stroud, pocket passer. Justin Fields. You see Justin Fields improvising now, but he did not do that at Ohio State. And going back to C.J. Stroud, you would see reps and plays where he would approach the line of scrimmage and then pull up or stop and run out of bounds or throw the ball away or you know try to find it. But it, it seemed like, and Matthew Bruning is an insider there, it seemed like uh, that Ryan Day had his quarterbacks study and prepare and um, focused on playing a v- very conservatively from an improvising standpoint and from a running the ball standpoint. What is Riley Leonard doing in this conversation? That is a huge departure from what we've learned about Ryan Day. And the interesting thing to me is that not only has Ohio State been connected with with um, Riley Leonard, who to me is not a play style fit, but he's also been asso- Ohio State has also been associated with Cam Ward, who's much more, who's much closer to Tate Martell or Johnny Manziel as a quarterback prospect, and those don't seem to be the type of quarterback prospects that Ryan Day likes. Ryan Day, who by the way is allegedly uh, room- being rumored to to be shopping himself to NFL teams, um, I have always thought that Dante Moore. The now the true freshman last year who's entering the transfer portal from Detroit, Michigan at UCLA, that he was a fit for Ohio State, both from a schematic standpoint and a geographical proximity standpoint to his hometown, to his family. I thought that that made a lot of sense. But I understand why Ohio State maybe doesn't want to take on a de- another developmental quarterback. Maybe they would want to take on a veteran because that is always, you know, a win now program. And you can't lose to Michigan four years in a row if you are uh, if you are Ryan Day. I don't know what to make of this because again, Riley Leonard, even if he visits there, it looks like he's headed to to uh, Notre Dame. Cam Ward, it looks like he's headed. Not to Ohio State. I have heard no rumors about visits, about conversations, or anything with Cam Ward. The the rumor had been is that Ohio State is trying to pull Michael Pratt from the Senior Bowl from declaring for him to come. So if that doesn't happen, where is Ohio State left? Now, Devin Brown, I have been a big fan of him since he's coming out of Corner Canyon, uh, the same school that produced Zach Wilson, the same school that produced Jackson Dart there in Utah. Big fan of him. He was my number one quarterback in that class, even over, you know, someone like Drew Aller. I love Devin Brown. Devin Brown has a big opportunity here in the Cotton Bowl against Missouri. But Ohio State fans, what do you want to happen here? What do you think is going to happen here? Um, I have no idea. 
I, I just think that I question the connections that Ohio State has had with Cam Ward, with Riley Leonard, because that doesn't seem to fit what Ryan Day wants to do. That's just me. You can let me know what you think in the comments. And by the way, help us again. Get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We got December 31st. We got, what, 22 days from now. Hit that subscribe button. Do it now. Peace.